today we're gonna be making jerk chicken. Which jerk chicken? Where is that from? It's from Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica be hungry, man. <laughs> the correct definition for jerk chicken will be right here when you Wikipedia <laughs> the definition. But you know, normally I think with Jamaican recipes we should serve it with a side of peas and rice. So this is not exactly the most authentic recipe, but it will be easy for you to make and it will definitely impress that tropical girl. So we have some raw chicken thighs. I just, I prefer to use the chicken thigh because it's nice and smooth, tender. Um, and you can, you can be very adventurous and make your own jerk seasoning, but they also come in a jar and if you don't want to chop up a million different herbs and spices, then you can definitely go for the pre-made version. It will probably save you time. Skin side, because that's, you know, that's the good bit. And don't be afraid to get in with your hands as well. Well, this is a jerk rub. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica be honey. <laughs> and after everything is nicely covered, you can refrigerate this for 30 minutes. So while the chicken is marinating in the fridge for 30 minutes, it's a great time for you to prepare the peas and rice. Um, all you need is some, any sort of basmati rice, long grain rice, two cups of that, a can of coconut, coconut milk. You can use, I'm using black eyed peas just because I like the sound of it, but you can use kidney beans, red beans, black beans, whatever you like. Um, some dried thyme. Uh, I don't have the crazy Jamaican pepper so I'm using a normal chili pepper, but you know, please feel free to use the crazy stuff. And then we have some chopped onion and one chopped clove of garlic. Alright, so stove on medium high and then we're gonna brown the garlic and chopped onion just for a little while bit of time get that fragrance and then once that's translucent and soft we can add the onion so now that the onions are translucent, we can pour in the beans. Now two cups of coconut milk. And then two cups of water. Two cups of water. So basically four cups of liquid to every two cups of rice. And then we're just gonna bring that to a boil. Okay, so while that's heating up, we're going to put in our two cups of rice as well. Stir it really well. So we don't have a scotch bonnet pepper, but let's drop a whole pepper in as well. And then let's, don't cut the pepper apart, like let that flavor marinate with the coconut milk as it's cooking. And now we just wait. Okay, now it's bubbling to a boil. It's time to turn the heat down to about medium. And then, put the cover on. So it's been about 25 minutes, and it's really looking like almost ready. I would probably give that another five minutes or so. Now the chicken's been sitting in the fridge for about 30 minutes. It's nice and marinated, so we can probably throw that on the grill right now. So, I've been preheating this grill. A uh, bit of bit of cooking spray, just just spray it so there's oil on there, and then we do skin side down. Probably around 12 minutes or so. Okay, so. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn it on the left side. It's looking good. It's been about 15 minutes. And the chicken is about done, and also the rice is completely ready to be served as well. 
so we can pretty much plate this. So it was some fresh parsley. Clean up the plate a little. And there you go. Jerk chicken. <laughs> All those jerks in your life. Thanks for watching. For more recipes and restaurant reviews, head on over to spreadmybutter.com. And be sure to subscribe to our main YouTube channel, Spread My Butter. Oh, Jamaican sizzling, man. <laughs> Jamaican be confused, man.